We'll say a final point. This Imam Ghazali mentions, Rahimahullah, three levels of fasting. Uh, one is the fast from one's food and drink. That's the mandatory fast. To fast from one's uh, food and drink. Uh, the next level is the fasting of the limbs. To avoid speaking any foul language, uh, any, anything. مَنْ لَمْ يَدْعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِي فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ أَنْ يَدْعَ تَعَامُهُ وَشَرَابَهُ أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم the one who doesn't leave false speak and speech and acting on its imperative Allah has no need that they give up their food or drink some people attain the Ramadan and at the end of the month all they have achieved is hunger and thirst because they haven't engaged in the fast at a higher level and that higher level is to f the fast of the limbs not engage in haram not to speak in forbidden subjects قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينُ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ وَالَّذِينُ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ The believers are successful, those who have reverence, reverent humility in, those prayer, in their prayers and those who turn away from empty, unproductive talk. And so Ramadan should be a good training for us to turn away from empty, unproductive talk. لَغْوِ وَالَّذِينُ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ they turn away from it. If, and, and what is that? مِنْ حُسْنِ إِسْلَامِ الْمَرْءِ تَرْكُ مَا لَا يَعْنِيهِ A person's Islam being good is leaving that which doesn't concern him or her. What concerns us? Anything that aids us in our journey to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Jannah. And if it doesn't aid us, and so what if our speech doesn't help us to Jannah? If our speech isn't a good word to cheer up a depressed person, commanding the good, forbidding the wrong, giving nasiha, sincere advice. To the leaders of the Muslim and their ordinary folk. If, if it's not that, and we mentioned cheering up the depressed person. The Prophet ﷺ, uh, he, he told jokes. They're, they're in Ihya, you see the, some of his jokes. Told a, a woman, ask him for, a, could she borrow a camel? He said, I'll give you a baby camel. He said, what am I going to do with a baby camel? She think I have to carry a load with it? And he said that, I'll, I'll give you a baby camel. She said, what am I going to do with a baby camel, Ya Rasulullah? And so he brought a full-grown adult camel, and she was stunned. He said, I'm going to give you a baby camel. He said, every camel is another camel's baby. <laughs> Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Just to cheer her up And he would tell children He would tell amused children He was the most uh, jovial of people with his wives Why? Because marriage life can become a drag Seriously If you don't lighten the mood You know there has to be a, a joke here and there Occasional wrestling match You know <laughs> Took your wife's feet once in a while. You know, there has to be something. You have to lighten the mood. Otherwise, day after day, uh, all you think, my rights, my responsibilities, my right, hukuk, wajibat, hukuk, wajibat. Hukuk, wajibat, occasional joke, wrestling match, tickle the feet, and then you get through it. 20 years, you're still smiling. <laughs> Otherwise, six months, you're done. And so a lot of people, six months, they're done throwing in the towel, like, I quit. Oh, so, كَانَ أَفْقَحَ النَّاسِ مَا أَهْلِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم. So, and so that's, that's something shar'an, acceptable, in, a, in the proper context. صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم. So, but other than that, it's none of our business. Lewdness and decency. Listen to foul music, misogynistic lyrics, and all of this stuff. That's none of our business. Because why? It's not helping us to Jannah. And getting to Jannah is not easy. They'll call it jihadun nafs because it's difficult. Those who struggle for our sake, we guide them to our paths. وَجَاهِدُوا فِي اللَّهِ حَقَّ جِهَادِهِ Strive in the way of Allah as you rightfully should. It's not easy, it's work. It's work. And we should approach it like that. But that's our business. 
all this other stuff the Muslims get bogged down in, it's not our business. What this Muslim does, this brother was talking about me, so I'm supposed to talk about him? You know, people bring you these news because they, it's as if they want you. You know, brother so-and-so said your head was big and you can't find any kufis to fit. You have to custom make your kufis. So what are you supposed to say? Well, 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 tell that brother. His head's so big that they could use it to replace the blimp that blew up in Germany a few months ago. I mean, subhanAllah, that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, tell the brother I'll pray for him. Tell, ask him to pray for me. And tell him if he has a, knows a good tailor that can make some big kufis, so let me know about it. You have to, we have to get on. We don't have time for pettiness back and forth. You know, we have work to do. The world is suffering. Our community is suffering. There's work to do, brothers and sisters. We don't have time for nonsense. A lot of what we get bogged down in is nonsense. And Ramadan is a time we get serious. We don't have the energy for nonsense. We don't have the time for nonsense. We're serious. We want to read a khatam, two or three khatams of Quran. That takes work. We want to attend the tarawih every night. That takes work. We want to maximize the benefit of the fast. That takes work. We want to be the people remembering Allah in Ramadan. Dhaqibullahi fi Ramadan maghfurun lah. That takes work. It takes commitment, focus, dedication. We don't have time for nonsense. You know, we don't have time for nonsense. So may Allah Ta'ala bless us to benefit from Ramadan. Uh, bless us. So we mentioned the fasting of the limbs. The first fasting of the stomach and the body, the internal. So we're not eating when we shouldn't be eating. And we're eating of the good and pure. That which is purchased with lawful income. That which is lawful in and of itself. And that's the first level. And then the fasting of the limbs. We're not engaging in haram. That's the fasting of the limbs. We're not speaking haram. That's the fasting of the tongue. We're not engaging in haram. Our feet aren't conveying us to places of haram. We duck into the pub occasionally. Ramadan, we're not letting our feet take us to the pub. We're going to the masjid. That's the fasting of the limb. And then there's the fasting of the heart. And the fasting of the heart is leaving anything that distracts us away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.